Good morning, it's the Kian and Yaz show on Kader. Yaz, how you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good, bro. I, I love this next guest because not only is he a close friend, a close business associate, but he's an absolute legend in the hip-hop scene here in Australia. He's been through so much. Mm -hmm. He's got so many artists under his belt. He runs his own record label. Yep. We are talking about the one and only... Jalal Edwards, what's going on, cuz? Welcome to the table, brother. Good boys, thank you for having me. It was right, good. Thank you, thank I, you. I love that you you rock your new levels hoodie wherever you go. I mean, you're a walking billboard, bro. Hey man, look, I've got more clothes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to represent. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's right. So it's not yeah. the only thing hanging up. Do you have like like a series of these hoodies hanging up in your wardrobe, like like five or six? Uh, of them? I have a, I have a few. I wouldn't say five or six, but yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> keep them clean, keep them fresh. Hey, I just wanted to point out as well. So we introduced you as Jalal, right? Yes, is Lazy J still around? Uh, look, uh, Lazy J is uh, old me mm. mm -hmm. in with the new, which is, uh, you know, just rocking with Jalal for now. So, new uh, levels, that's what it's about, right? Exactly. I love that fact. So you've been on such an incredible journey, bro. And you, you, the, the best thing I love about it is the fact that you are supportive of new artists. You're breaking artists with this, with you know, the new levels record label. Um, what's, what, what's your favorite thing about supporting a new artist and breaking one? I think it's that, uh, you know, I understand what they've gone through in their thought process and an artist's journey. You know what I mean? It's like uh, from the beginning of creating a song to thinking about marketing it, um, I've got that experience of of releasing music and trying to connect with an audience. Mm -hmm. So um, just to be able to, to, to offer that skill set to an artist and to help get them on the right path, I think that's the best part about it. And you've been so successful at it. I mean, open till late. We all know yeah. he's one of the best producers in I'll, the country. I'll give, I'll give him the crown, hands down. Hands down the crown. Mm. He's created 100%. a whole whole new sound. And mm -hmm. I mean, you've been behind the market. You've been behind the, the process of building him out as well, Larissa Lambert. Mm. I mean, that's another huge yep. artist. We're talking 75,000 streams a day. I mean, millions, this is millions, millions, millions of streams, yeah. millions of streams. I mean, how do you know what artist is going to hit and not hit? Crazy thing about that is uh, a couple of the names you mentioned are just like good friends of mine. Yeah. You know, mm. I've known Kirill, I've known Open Too Late for the past 11 years and, mm. and you know, we, we used to be in a group together and so um, it's just about reconnecting and, you know, I did link him with Hefs and with Lips and, and, and that sort of audience uh, to start producing and then, you know, I helped him sort of transition into an artist and stuff. But I guess it's just uh, like, you know, everyone sort of has their strength mm. and mine is being able to pin... Uh, pick talent, you know, the yeah. right artists and, and what works in the industry, like whether it's pop, whether it's rock, whether it's EDM or, or rap or R&B, like I just, I feel like I have a good ear for that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's, so. got, he's got the, I was going to ask as well, so you obviously started off as an artist, you made the decision to go behind the scenes and start working as essentially management, you know, label CEO, was it hard making that decision and that transition? Oh man, I was trying to, I couldn't let go of being an artist for so many years, yeah. but my heart wasn't in it for like, you know, a good three four years like why I, I just, why why, why, why I just i lost it? the love for creating and releasing music as an artist like yeah. i just didn't want to be on camera anymore i didn't want to perform anymore and i kept forcing myself to do it to do it like thinking oh this is what i'm here to do this is my purpose in life i have to do this and i think it was uh 2020 i started like i, I linked with larissa and i told her i want to release your music and we we did our first song together and yeah. i was like oh shit Oh, sorry. I was like, oh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, man, I like this, you know, and I was releasing uh, some of Amani's music and, and I started doing it for Open Till Late and I was like, man, I think I'm, I, I know what, this is You're what I something. love. Yeah, I'm onto yeah. something, but I wake up every day like I'm so keen to do this, but I was still an artist at the same time. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, it doesn't make sense that I'm forcing myself to do this thing yeah. that I don't enjoy but I love doing this thing. Why don't I just focus 100% into this? You it know? unlocked something new in your it, life. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, I think I wouldn't have known how to do all this stuff if I didn't go on that journey as an artist myself. So it's, yeah, exactly. It's a domino right. effect for sure. It is, it is. And and your story though, from artist to, to label owner slash CEO, it's a crazy one. I mean, we all know uh, one of the first times you, you really show face was on X Factor. You were yep. teaming up with, was a big, big, big guy, big guy. Big guy. And you yeah. did something special there. And that was like the first time we ever saw hip hop on, on such a, you know, on mainstream a commercial platform. Commercial platform. Yeah, Would you have been like one of the first rappers on X Factor Australia? Was that a thing? I think like, look, I think it was actually like first rapper on a, a talent uh, TV in show, general, in general, is yeah. that worldwide though? That yeah. was worldwide, right? I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but like I did watch a few different talent shows, and yeah. I never saw a rapper before, uh, you know, 2010. So and boy, did you kill it! I mean, yeah. look at you now. I mean, look at look at what, right. what came from it. Yeah. And then here's the crazy thing that we've been talking about this all morning and hooking to to you coming in studio. Part of your story was that crazy night in the city 
mm. clubbing, yeah. and you got shanked. Yeah. You got stabbed right in the chest. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell us about that story because it doesn't happen often to you know the common person. I mean, I don't even know why you would have got shanked, but can you walk us through that actual night? So you were at, you were at a you were at a club. Yeah, and so I think that was like ten years ago, to be honest. Yeah, um, but nine, we got to talk about this because this is like this is some yeah, heavy definitely, stuff. Definitely, definitely, and it's a part of the journey too. So uh, it was ten years ago, October twenty. Um, 2012. You even say, anyway. you remember the date. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, man. Shit. You're not, I only you're got not stabbed once. That. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's um, right. But yeah, no, I was uh, performing. Uh, we had a release party for Big Guy's single. And so, you know, we had a, a gig and we performed and, you know, a little scuffle went on. Took it. It ended up carrying on outside. Well, what like, was the scuffle later. about? Like, was it like uh, just, someone took just, someone else's girl? Like, what was it? No, nah, nothing like that. Just, just a little. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember that bit. It's just yeah. a little push and shove in the in the vip room over some childish it stuff. happens i don't know you know yeah, that happens. stuff happens anyways whatever they got kicked out and they waited outside for us to come out and whatever so one thing led to another and um i think it ended up being like a, a 10 on two sort of you know and you were the two right? Scrap. Were yeah I was, I was one of the two and um you know they felt the need to use a knife i guess and and i guess that's just the way that uh, sometimes these things go mm -hmm. and um was it cold like when that knife went into your oh, chest. Oh man, I didn't feel a single thing. I had so much adrenaline. Yeah. Did you realize what had that. happened? I had no idea. Like the cops came and everyone started running and I was like, oh snap, I can't run for, I'm, I'm done, I'm tired. So I got on the oh. floor and they're saying, you know, put your hands on your head, this, that, and I ended so up- So the cops um, didn't even know you got stabbed? No, no one had any idea. They just saw blood like leaking from oh, me. Oh no. So they're like, oh, you're, you're bleeding. I'm like, me? I looked down, I was like, they lift up my shirt. There's just like tiny little stab wound, but it just went right into my heart. So I was like, and so I, it actually went in your heart. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, we yeah. need to make it clear, bro. This wasn't just like a small injury. This was life threatening. Yeah, yeah. So my heart actually ended up uh, stopped beating for like a, a minute or something Jeez. like that. Oh my god! And just the the way that the series of events unfolded, like the the guy that um, the surgeon that knew how to do this accidentally missed his flight back to brisbane that night wow so like Whoa. it was it was all like a See, you know God's just a, plan yeah Things yeah like exactly yeah. exactly wow. so um that's ended heavy up, yeah it is it is did and you did you find did you find like do you remember anything when your heart stopped and you would have been unconscious did you see anything from the other side no nah, man I, i've had that question a few times but no I no. never saw nothing. I just uh, saw the oh, back well, of my that's, eyelids. That's a bit, you know, disappointing. Like, you'd think that you'd think there'd be something. <laughs> Sorry, on the other man. Side, right? I wanted to add to this story to make it bigger, but man, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You about could have come no. out and said anything, bro. Yeah, We'd be like, "Yep, yeah, that's I'd, it. We all know what's gonna happen. Like saw, we're set." I saw Jesus walking. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing. The crazy thing was uh, obviously it was a time sensitive operation that you had to do. They couldn't even get you into the surgery room. They had to do it there and then in the emergency room, right? Yeah, they didn't have time to get me up to the surgery room, so they had to do it in the um, Fire uh, just in the lobby, and they they only had like some a certain amount of tools. They didn't have time to go upstairs, get the right tools, and bring it back down. So they just um, they cut my body open with like clothes scissors, the scissors they use to cut off like mm. uh, clothes and stuff. And so. I've seen I've seen the scar, yeah, mm. and that mm -hmm. that's a that's a that's a, like a a big scar. Like that's not you don't hide that. Do you yeah. feel like does that? Does it affect you when you look at it in the mirror? Like, nah, how do you feel? man, like you get used to it, you know, after so many years, I just sort of forget it's even there, to be honest. But yeah, yeah it is pretty huge. And are, but you remind it every day, like I've, I've, I've got a second chance here and oh, I'm gonna kill look, it. Like, I'm a human being. Sometimes I forget, you know what yeah. I mean? But, uh, you know, when I do have my doubts, because uh, everyone does, uh, you know, I yeah. definitely am reminded, hey, like, you know, you're here for a reason, uh, you know, this doesn't just happen to anyone and they yeah. continue to live, you know, and, and like some of my idols, uh, you know, 50 Cent, for yeah. example. Shot nine times yeah, yeah 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 like just things like that like man i always think oh that's you know as you said before god's plan like mm. that didn't just happen for nothing like no one just survives that look at what he's gone on to do so yeah did it did it change you as a person bro that situation and what you went through um look i think uh, i went through a lot a lot after that as mm. well so i think uh, i went through a series of events that sort of changed me as a person for sure yeah and 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 you know for for the the female population that's listening do you find that like they like looking at it like for example you bring a girl back to the, <laughs> this back is to what the, back to the hotel room. no because we want to know like you know that does that Why other, are they like, oh, does that sexy. turn them on does it make yeah. them sick like have you ever did you find that after you got that scar they're like oh my gosh like he's he's here he's got this big scar he's manly he's 
Is that, uh, that ever happened in the bedroom? Uh, is there something that you go, hey, baby, look at this? Like, is there nothing, anything like that? <laughs> nothing at all. But look, when I'm walking on the beach, it does catch, uh, you know, people's oh, yeah? eyes. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Hey, can, love we that. That. <laughs> can we see the scar now? I'm going to ask. Man, I'll put on a bit of weight. I'm not trying to show you the scar right now, man. <laughs> just got out of COVID. <laughs> oh, we got, got out of COVID. COVID everywhere. Exactly. Thank you. There's <laughs> about, <laughs> about six cameras in here. We can get it from every angle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. We'll, uh, move on. we'll move on to the positives, bro. Like, Larissa, man, she's killing it. She just had a billboard in New York, didn't she? Yeah, Times, Times Square, right? Times yeah. Square. Yeah. Mac bang in the middle. Yeah. Congrats, Huge. Alyssa. Congrats. We're going to get her on the show as well, obviously, soon. Um, how, did, how, how did that get pulled off? Is that something that was like organically happened or did you have talks it, about it? Like, it was uh, a bit of both. But obviously, uh, you know, she like it led to that stage mm. organically. You know, people on um, Spotify definitely, you know, were interested in her and she was making some good moves and making a lot of noise. So... Um, you know, they made her the Spotify artist of the month, and mm. that sort of led to landing that billboard. So that's massive. I mean, not mm. any artist can get that. It's one of the biggest billboards yeah. you can land on, bro. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. So, so for you, you yourself, I mean, we know the label, we know everything. What, what's what's the next step for you? Because I feel like you're the type of guy that's you'll get thrown in the jungle by yourself. And you'll come out of the jungle with like a lion's fur all over you. <laughs> you yeah. gassing like, me up, you, man. Like that's, oh, yeah. that's the type of, yeah. But that's the type of guy you seem like. Like they can't kill you, bro. Yeah, that's they it. can't. They can't stop you, bro. That's, that's what it. it feels like, man. Is that yes, sir. What, what's next for you? How are you going to take over further? Uh look, I, I still feel like there's a little bit to do here in Australia, but we definitely have plans on on um, touring overseas and and making music overseas. So that's in the books for the next couple know, of months. I, I know Brazil loves your your label's music. Is that is that something you want to go to Brazil and take it over Brazil, play yeah. a bit of soccer and stuff? Yeah, uh, I don't know about soccer. I've got two <laughs> left feet, but um, I'll be over there in May for Armani. Uh, we've yep. got a little show over there with MTV, yeah. so that's nice. cool. Um, open till late. They're playing him on radio over there as well as you know. Australia oh, nice. as well, so yeah, they're really pushing open till late right now. Yeah. What was that record that he had out? Um, uh, Heat of Paradise. Heat of Paradise. What a Paradise. song, bro! We've been smashing that here mm. as well. Track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Track. off its head. That's off its head. So obviously, you want to where where will we where do we go listen to your artists? Spotify. You got a Shazam when they Everywhere. play. Wherever you can find music, that's where you'll find my artists. Mm. Yes, sir. Are we gonna ever see the return of Lazy J? Maybe uh, don't look, say gonna, Lazy J. Maybe I'm, change it to like. I'm, I'm not gonna say no, but if if it was to happen, I think I'll come back as like Lazy a feature? J. Feature? Would you feature on one of your yeah. artists? I'm uh, waiting for know. a lazy trade track. I'm waiting. for I don't know. Maybe when you come back, I wouldn't. I would maybe go active J. Active J. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've been called. Hey, I've been called active J for the past few years, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Well, yeah. <laughs> Making moves nonstop, bro. That's active. You've yeah, been that's active. it. All right, so we're that's gonna play it. one of your artist songs. This is this is the CEO, the the label owner of New Levels, Jalal. What is your artist pick on your roster? Which one do you want us to play right now? Uh, right now, I think it'll have to be Hit of Paradise, Open Too Late. Yes, okay, sir. let's turn this thing right. You know what? You can do the introduction because, I mean, it's on you. You're listening to Cater. This is Open Too Late, Hit to Paradise. Let's go, baby. Love it. Man's love about it, to it. take our job. <laughs> hey, that, hey, and his voice, he's got, he's got a real <laughs> yeah, good yeah, voice. Have have you, have you, like, dude, your voice is like, is on point. Huh? Your oh, voice is shit. on point. Man, you have to make room for me in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can squeeze you in every now and <laughs> yeah. then. Helena, hey, Helena, kick Helena, 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 you're fired. <laughs> That's fine. No, 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 hey. no. no. <laughs> I'm trying to Please do that to you. Please, my job. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, we didn't ask if was he responsible what for... The oh, yes. Yeah, so this is something we were asking every artist. So a year ago, Yaz's mm. letterbox, after he released... <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be a thing? Yeah. Yes, so we need after, to find out. After he released a parody of... What was the song? Amira. It was called Amira. Amira, Amira. He released that parody. People didn't like it. He was His phone got blown up and everything, but something else that got blown up at him was his letterbox. So we're trying to get to the bottom of who blew up Hey, Yaz's man, don't be letterbox. pointing no fingers at me. <laughs> no, well, I don't I'm, know why y'all looking at me. I don't even know why shit. they think it's but, like an artist or someone in the industry. It could but, be anyone. But maybe you have like but maybe did that, tips. Did that really happen? Yeah, yeah, my mailbox got blown up, bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. And we, and we couldn't find out who it was. We've and asked, we've asked a hunt show. It was probably Nick Knack. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Knack lives with DJ Nick Knack. Shout he out. Was, he lives with Yaz, he by was the way. No, yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. He was he was living there when the mailbox was blown up. So I doubt it. But I've got a nice Is new it, shiny mailbox. Do you, do you feel like you're like, a like for example, if you were a character on like CSI, like Criminal Investigation or like NCIS or whatever. No, I'm not going to find out who blew up the mailbox. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Well, he ain't no there. snitch. <laughs> he ain't no snitch. Yeah, that's right. He's not, he doesn't seem like it. All right, bro. <laughs> Jalal, thank you so much for coming through, bro. Thank Shout out to New Levels. Make sure you jump on board. Uh, open till late. Larissa Lambert, Amani. What other artists you Say got? Say Lagoon. Say Lagoon. I mean, it's all popping off over that side. Uh, but again, yes, thanks for coming into Kata to the Key and the Yash show, bro. You're an absolute legend. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.